Question 25. Rationalize the denominator of 12 over root 3. Now remember, people freak out with questions like this, but all you've got to do, all it means is the denominator can't be a square root. So to do that, all you've got to do is multiply the top and the bottom by the same thing, because remember, if you multiply the top and the bottom of a fraction by the same thing, you will keep the value the same. You'll just get an equivalent fraction. So with these, all you've got to do is multiply by whatever the square root is at the bottom. So we're going to multiply by root 3 at the top and root 3 at the bottom. So what that gives you is 12 times root 3 is just 12 root 3. And root 3 times root 3 is just 3. So that's it. 12 root 3 over 3. Part B. Work out the value of this, square, uh, root 2 plus root 8 all squared. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to write it out like this, root 2 plus root 8, times by, because it's all squared, the same thing, root 2 plus root 8. And now I'm going to multiply it out and expand it just like I would um, a set of brackets with like x, x's in. So it's root 2 times root 2 is just 2. And then root 2 times 8 is root oh, plus root 2 times root 8. Now I'm going to do root 8 times root 2, which is the same again. Remember, root 8 times root 2 is the same as root 2 times root 8. So I'm just going to write this again. Root 2 uh, times root 8. And then, last bit, root 8 times root 8 is just 8. Okay, so let me just tidy it up. I've got a 2 and an 8, so 2 plus 8 is 10. And I've got two of these root 2 root 8, so I'm going to write plus 2 root 2 root 8. Now, it says work out the value, so that means you're going to get an actual answer. Well, I want to put a number, a simple number there. It's not saying simplify, it's working out an actual value. So, if you look at it, you've got a 10, that's okay. And you've got this 2 times root 2 root 8. The only thing we can do with this is turn root 8 into something else. So, I'm going to write it again. 10 plus 2 root 2, which stays the same. Now, root 8 is, remember... Uh, Anything times anything. So any two numbers that multiply to give 8, you can write in roots. So 8 is root 2 times... Well, 8 is 2 times 4. So I'm going to write that instead of root 8, because that is equal to... Root 8 is equal to root 2 times root 4. So I'm going to replace that with that. So I'm going to write root 2, root 4. So now if you look at it again, you've got 10 plus 2 times root 2 times root 2 is just 2 times root 4 which is 2 again so it's 10 plus 2 times 2 times 2 which is 10 plus 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 so 10 plus 8 so the answer is 18